Okay guys, this is your lucky day. If you're thinking about uh, moving seri serious loads, I'm gonna give you some top secret information that even many cops don't know. Okay, so don't, don't laugh. That may well be uh, true. Basically, this is a map that you will not find. It's very hard to find. Uh, so even though uh, the uh, legal uh, tandem weight is uh, 34,000 pounds, but each state in U.S. has their own has its own rules uh, regarding uh, what's the maximum weight you can put on a tandem. You know, just like I don't know, regular a regular tandem on a trailer. Uh, well, I guess there are variances depending on uh, what your uh, you know how much space you have between the axles but just generally just to give you an idea you see everything that's uh, pink that's 46,000 right green is uh, 40,000 and then you can read read here uh, but so the basically the majority of the states and the southwest and uh, Montana Wyoming it's all 46,000 that's the, like the maximum for the tandem but of course you cannot exceed uh, your manufacturer's rating and that's why it's a good always a good idea to get uh, maximum uh, ratings for your axles when you buy uh, you know a truck or trailer for example on my um, flatbed now I have axles which are spec for 25,000 you know so if if I I can uh, definitely take 46,000 because 25 times 2 is 50 but on my truck uh, my uh, drives are only rated for 40,000 so even if I go in a state you know call it uh, like this like Texas I cannot permit 46,000 because that would be violation and that's why if I were to buy a new truck now I would definitely go for 46 on the drives and let's say 16 on the front you know because you can always use that but you see so uh, uh, these states here Iowa Nebraska South Dakota Minnesota Michigan that's 40,000 that's kind of generic and these two Louisiana Alabama there's a comment here saying that Alabama 44,000 on the interstate and Louisiana 48,000 pounds Jesus anyway that just to give you an idea right and you see yellow the Oregon uh, Idaho Washington that's 43,000 pounds these guys here right that's how it works you know when you have a, a super heavy load you just uh, uh, you know you just permit it and now I'm gonna show you another top secret what is this try them t-r-i-d-u-m Jesus anyway so this is the same thing only it's for triaxle uh, when people are wondering uh, what's the maximum weight you can get with a permit when you have to pay you know the permit you have to pay for uh, when you have three axles on the trailer let's say and mind you in order to get the permit you already have to be um, on that uh, heavy uh, heavy license uh, you know like the annual permit you cannot just get a permit for each trip uh, you must be uh, your your weight your gross weight must be maxed out already so you have to pay something extra each year and then for each trip you can get a permit you see like most states are green so green is I think 60 yeah 60,000 and above well they're being conservative here so blue is 58,000 that's for a tritum yellow is 51 that's Montana and uh, West Virginia right and Mississippi Alabama once again stand out for some reason uh, you see that's what the Mississippi up to 63,000 on three axles Alabama here and California depending on axle spacings uh, you know so that's how it works just to give you an idea uh, knowing these things that uh, you know can be useful when you are thinking of specking uh, you know a new truck and trailer thanks for watching